so we need to check our pricing procedure so for that select analysis here we need to see our pricing procedure rm0000 the condition type not available so we need to clear this error spro sap reference img materials management purchasing here we need to select conditions then define condition define pricing determination process first we need to maintain condition tables execute so here we need to create condition tables here we need to enter the new table number so sap system maintained 1 to 500 table number so we need to choose 500 to 999 in between any number so i am going to choose 600 and then enter here we need to select the field category so first i am going to select my plant double click the plant will come here so next we need to select vendor in SAP system available in the name of supplier so after that we need to select material then generate so table 360 is already defined with the same fields so this is just a warning message ok and then save we need to select ok the warning message and then we need to select yes so assign a package select local object system will assign the package automatically now the table a600 has been saved now our table condition table has been created step number two define access sequence for purchasing execute the table is cross client ok continue select new entry enter access sequence four digit variant description access sequence for purchase order and then enter our company code save the data so this is just a warning message enter now the data was saved select the row double click on accesses here we need to select new entries enter the number access number and then table number 600 which we created enter development class of condition table a600 is local ok continue so this is just a warning message enter now the table has been selected select the row double click on fields just warning message enter once again enter so this is the field plant supplier material release status processing status system will generate automatically now we can save the access sequence go to back save once again data was saved third step define condition types select define condition type execute here we need to select set pricing condition types purchasing so we can select from standard variant pb00 so cross price this is the standard variant so select the row copy s yes. and then here we can change the description and then variant q pb0 and then here we need to select our access sequence 
which we created now. QA is 0. So after that, save the data, enter and save the data. In our pricing condition, we need to mention condition class prices, calculation type, quantity, condition category, basic price and then group condition we need to select then change which can be made manual entries, no limitations. So this is very carefully we need to enter. If we select limitations, so we can post manually, we can change the price manually or system will calculate automatically. Both the options available. So once we select automatical entry as priority, system will generate automatically. Manual entry as priority, we need to enter manually. Not possible to process manually. If we select not possible to process manually, we cannot change the price in our purchase order manually. So we always keep it as a no limitations. And then select item condition, amount percent, quantity, valuation, quantity relation, value. After that, we need to mention the pricing procedure. So once we create the pricing procedure, after that we can maintain here so the validity the today's date and then validity maximum date is we can keep it as a maximum system maximum data so after that save once again go to back fourth step we need to create condition records for that enter the t code slash n me K1 enter create condition records we need to select condition type so here we can select key combination the plant supplier material continue so this is our plant this is our supplier I'm going to select my material for example this material and then amount currency INR per product unit of measure EA so after that enter and save the data condition record saved so the next step set Calculation schema for purchasing. Execute. So here we need to create new pricing procedure for our company code. So select new entry. Here enter the new pricing procedure. So I am going to enter. QPP00 pricing procedure. Q002 then enter select the row double click on control data here we need to select new entries step number 1 01 01 so this is condition type which we created already we need to select so this is our condition type QP B0 double click on this and then from we need to enter 10 then select subtotal as a 9 and then requirement as a 5 what is mean by subtotal copy values to KOMP BRTWR Christ value so this is our table name and then requirement 5 no condition exclusion save the data enter enter now the data has been saved 
enter print type x printing at item level old logic after that save the data go to back now our pricing procedure has been created step number six define schema groups execute first one we need to select define schema group for supplier new entry enter two digit variant enter the description save the data go to back so step number two define schema groups for purchasing organizations new entry enter two digit variant schema group for purchase organization description and then enter company code for our reference save the data go to back step number three assign schema group to purchase organization execute select position enter our purchase organization qpso against our purchase organization we need to assign our schema group which we created now q2 and then save the data now we have completed three step go to back define schema determination next topic execute so define calculation schema for standard purchase orders execute new entry enter the schema group for purchase organization and then select our schema group for supplier here we need to select our pricing procedure qpp00 enter and save the data go to back so the next step assign partner schema to supplier slash n bp take code so here we need to select supplier number and then search supplier number based on our company code we can find out enter double click on our supplier number here we need to select our change bp role vendor q002 here we need to select purchasing view under the purchasing view select purchasing data here we need to enter our schema group for supplier our variant we need to select which is already created q1 schema group for supplier after that save the data after saving the data now we can create purchase order slash n mg 21 n select our document type select our supplier select our purchase organization purchasing group company code here enter our material PO quantity delivery date net price currency and then plant storage location after that enter so now system will take material price as 100 so now we can select conditions see here our condition type qpp00 cross price q002 amount 100 so we are giving that we are giving purchase order quantity 500 numbers into multiplication 
100 rupees overall value 50000 rupees for our purchase order value system will take automatically the cross price based on our pricing procedure configuration now we can save the purchase order purchase order has been created 